Stage six of the Tour de France Femme avec Zwift is 159.2 kilometers from Remiremont, finishing in Morteau. A lot of climbing in the final classified climb could act as a launch pad for a race winning move. It comes 15 kilometers from the finish, so it's not beyond the realms of possibility. Justine Herker attacked going for the mountain points and Voss followed. The yellow jersey, Nuvia Doma, looked comfortable whilst a group of 14 went clear. Mariana Voss took the intermediate sprint ahead of Anina Atasalo. The front group was now 18 riders strong. The pace was on at the head of the breakaway and it meant several riders started to get distanced, including Finnish champion Atasalo, whilst FDJ Suez pushed the pace in the peloton. Nee Fisher Black was duelling for the polka dot jersey and she made an attack on one of the Queen of the Mountains. She took the points ahead of Herka, with Brown taking third. Nee Fisher Black continued to push on for SD Works Pro Time and it put the breakaway riders into a lot of difficulty. But Brown and Herka managed to come back to the SD Works Pro Time rider, but it was a hard, hard effort. French champion Juliette Labousse accelerated for Team DSM Fermanet post an L to try and whittle the group down. And with 16 kilometers to go, the breakaway was swallowed up. That was before the polka dot jersey Puck Peterser attacked and tried her chance for Fenix to Koenig, taking the points on the Queen of the Mountain. The yellow jersey was there of Cassia Nuvia Doma, closely followed by Damien Vollering. Former French time trial champion Cédrine Kerbal attacked with 14 kilometers to go. Paulina Royakas of Fenix de Koenig immediately reacted, but couldn't follow any longer. 13 kilometers to go when it was Cédrine Kerbal who was leading solo for Ceratis at WNT Pro Cycling. The chase was on behind in the peloton, but they couldn't do anything about the rider from Brittany. Coming into the finish, a 13-kilometer solo time trial into Morteau. The 2023 white jersey takes her sixth professional victory, her first Tour de France femme of Zwift stage, a big moment for Sarah Tizit WNT Pro Cycling. Now in its third edition, Cédrine Kerbal made history, becoming the first French stage winner of the race. Behind it was Mariana Voss, who was trying to take points for the green jersey. She came in, taking a comfortable second place, with Liana Lippitt trying to challenge all the way for Movistar. The yellow jersey finished safely within the group. But behind, the stage winner of stage six was Cedrine Kerbal. J'ai jamais gagné une course comme ça, aussi légendaire. Et puis j'ai jamais été aussi proche euh, de toutes les filles qui sont devant. Euh, donc euh, ouais, non, c'est assez dingue. It was super nice to get a lot of positive comments from girls from the peloton. I feel like racing for so long in a professional bunch, uh, you make a lot of friends. So it was really nice to have a quick chat with so many colleagues of mine about it. So yeah, it was very special. Cédrine Kerbal makes history, joy for the French fans, a French race and a French rider on the top step. Cassia Nuvia Doma retains the yellow jersey as the leader of the general classification, whilst after being in the breakaway, winning the intermediate sprint and taking second on the stage, Mariana Voss is the new leader in the green jersey. A great effort from Belgian Justine Herica. She now takes over the lead in the Queen of the Mountains competition, whilst Puck Peterser retains the white jersey. Cedrine Kerbal wins 21 seconds ahead of Mariana Voss, Lippitt, Swinkles and Brand. Whilst in the general classification, Nuvia Doma leads 16 seconds ahead of Kerbal, Faulkner at 19, with defending champion Vollering 10th at 1 minute and 19. We'll see you tomorrow for the penultimate stage, stage 7 of the Tour de France Femme of Exwift.